Welcome to episode 3 of the Great E39 Touring Rescue Series. Last time, I replaced the front seats with sport seats and thoroughly cleaned the carpets. In this episode, I'll replace the rear seat, upgrade to an M5 Sport steering wheel, and begin mechanical repairs. First, let's upgrade that gross steering wheel. I found one from an M5 listed for sale on eBay, along with a new 2019 production round sport airbag. First, before I get started, I'll disconnect the battery for safety. A broom is used to hold up the tailgate with blown support shocks. A T27 Torx bit is used to loosen two small screws that hold in the base model airbag. That would be a T27. Remove the two leads by unplugging them from the steering wheel slip ring. Next, break a 16mm steering wheel bolt loose with a breaker bar. This is a 16mm. With the old wheel removed, now is a great time to clean the dirty steering column with a microfiber cloth. Align the new wheel with the marks on the hub. Make sure that those two marks are lined up at the bottom 6 o'clock position. And here, plug in the harness. This one goes up here. This one. Okay, here is E39 Touring Sport Steering Wheels swap out. And here I have a brand new, uh, this is a recalled airbag, or recall replacement rather. As you can see, it still has the nice little blue film, cling film, right on uh, that BMW roundel there. And if we look closer, we can see that this airbag is made by Let's see here, JSS Germany. Up close we can see a 1.9 designating 2019 and on the little stub, plastic stub right here, there's also a 1.9. So this airbag was made in 2019. Pull these clips up. And this is very easy installation. The green plug goes into the green terminal and the black plug goes into the black terminal. And so we'll just find a way for these to fit nicely right here. Go ahead and plug in this airbag. Close the little snap. Also plug in the green one only goes in one way and now these two tabs right here are gonna kind of plug into this piece right here and of course we don't want to forget to tighten up like I just did I did forget to torque down our center nut which again is a 16 millimeter. And finally, we'll just press our airbag into place by 
we're pushing it straight in. And that's it. Putting a sport steering wheel in your car is, in my opinion, the most satisfying upgrade. Next, I replaced the rear seats, which took several hours. For a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do this, please see my other video linked below. Now that the new interior was installed, I had to replace the gross driver door sill trim plate. It looked terrible every time I opened the door. And what's another $58 anyway? Here's the before and after. Next, I began some mechanical repairs. I installed the much larger brakes shared by the 530i and 540i models, a direct bolt-on upgrade on a 525i. I sourced Zimmerman brake rotors made in Germany, TRW pads, and Cardone remanufactured calipers. I also upgraded the brake fluid to ATE Type 200 while bleeding the air out of the brake system. Bleeding air from the system is necessary when the brake hydraulic lines are removed and replaced. As you can see here, the rotors and calipers are significantly larger, and as a result, their performance and stopping power is vastly improved. With the front brake job complete, I moved on to the engine. A new valve cover gasket was installed, along with new spark plugs and filters. Stay tuned for the next episode where I continue mechanical repairs, replace rusty panels, and prepare the car for a summer road trip to see my family in Chicago. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.